Hello everybody, my name is Babyhead and this is episode 4 where last episode we were concentrating on the fact is that we were actually losing food and that we needed to build more resources for food so I came up with an idea that a little mod had what was called a greenhouse now the greenhouse comes in a mod called snap and build I will link it down below in the, in the uh, description and as you can see right in front of us it's a like a greenhouse type uh, building and you snap all different pieces on together which is what I have done and as you can see that you can actually put planters on top of the tables and they can be allocated to people now we don't have enough settlers at the moment for me to allocate everyone with a planter and as you can see um, dog meat running around he has now got a body armor and this body armor is the Minutemen body armor and if you remember we built us a raider station remember the raider box that we actually put in well we've caught ourselves a raider so we are gonna go up there now hopefully and we're gonna unlock the cage and then we're gonna kill him grab his stuff and then hopefully whether he drops some nice uh, leathers or something like that it will depend on whether we keep it or we sell it or scrap it or or whatever but anyway that is attached to that one so if we open this up now you're ready steady switch off and there he is it's a cycle oh god there we go 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 dead right that one's dead so he's got some round stem pack high speed 10 millimeter a metal chest piece a gas mask oh god he's got lots of stuff and as you can see we have now got a raider uh, not raider a settler arrived at our station not station but settlement shall we put I say settlement so if we click on if we go down to the greenhouse and then we go from the greenhouse to press the call button oh here we go Is let's trade you? I see. Well, that can't be you. Command. Right, you're unassigned. So, we're going to put you in with the planters. So, we assign you to the tomatoes. And that's now been assigned. Everyone has been assigned now a job. Right, so, we got some radar stuff. So we get, so we've got a few bits and pieces that we can mess around with. Now also, one thing I forgot to mention, in this EMB, it comes with a um, like preset, as you could probably see, the NAC, yeah, the NAC standalone preset. And what that does is it just makes it all, you know, it's a preset option for the actual graphics itself. If you want to craft it, you go into the chemistry station. And I think it's down as any NAC mods. And it will come up with different things, black and white. Uh, let's see, brightness, brow. Excuse me. Uh, a cooler, darker shadows, darker skies. All different types of things. I don't know whether they stack. I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue. But as you can see, you can craft it through that way. Now, what I'm actually wearing is a scarf, which is crafted via the armor workshop, as in this one over here. And I'm wearing a mechanic suit. I don't know, I don't know how I got the mechanic suit, but all I know is I nicked it off a settler and it looked better than just hanging around in the vault uniform. On the back is a backpack and that increases your uh, carry capacity so if you've ever been struggling with um, how can I can describe it if you've ever been struggling with uh, what what you actually carry 
you can actually craft um, a rucksack or which I don't actually have the station for the rucksack actually but if you can upgrade it it'll I think it goes up to something a maximum of 500 so if you think about it, if you use if you get maximum strength and then use the backpack you could probably carry excess of a thousand odd uh, items so that's not that too that's not that bad really if you really think about it but on the other hold that what we've been working on in the settlement is not that much in in great detail because over the weekend i had some bad news that uh, i had to sort out myself hence why this is out on tuesday not monday and as you can see that we've started on our marketplace now we haven't got anyone at the moment but like i said there's so many jobs available um in our settlement that we just don't have enough settlers to cope with it at the moment now one thing i am going to be doing is maybe making a like a walkway <coughs> excuse me like a little uh gan gantry type walkway or like a gate um down this end uh, because this is where majority of everyone's going to stay. In next episode, you'll see that um, this shack will be going. I will be building a proper, like, home for us. Um, because at the moment, we've only just... It's just that when it rains, it leaks. And, you know, you, we kind of get radiation uh, damage. Um, nothing much has changed. There's some uh, plants over there. But I'm going to keep that over there. Just because it... it they're working it's it's all working all handy dandy but once everyone decides to come into our settlement i'll then probably move them out of there and then place all that stuff into our greenhouse now our greenhouse is attached to a wind powered um engine and the reason behind that is because i was thinking well it's kind of like a greenhouse so it, it's like renewable energy it, it's it's like sort of clean type stuff so we've got our water supply we've got our electricity and all this is connected through and if you notice it's yes there's a gap there but i couldn't get it i basically started off this side and then as soon as i realized as soon as i got to this side excuse me i sort of well had a gap and that's where all the power connectors are because of the lights inside because it classifies this as like a, a like a one big block type thing and it wasn't working all the lights all together so but that's one good thing anyway that we got lights in here all this lights up except for that big light there that's just there just because it looks nice and that's about it but as you can see that I'm, I use fallout mods and it had a picture so I just thought well it filled up the wall and so it's just just there for eye-pleasing reasons she's now Lost working I'm, ho I got. I'm hoping that she's working now you can make this this outfit uh, that's made through the same way as the armor armorer workshop and what else have we done today just added a pylon there for no apparent reason i just added one because i possibly if i'm going to demolish this and build uh some housing possibly so we get rid of all everything that's inside here and then probably build like a house or or some or some something for everyone to sleep in or something like that or maybe no we got the diner down the bottom haven't we so there's no point building a diner but i might build some better so what i might do is i might live like round by here because this plot's smaller and then build something over here for everyone else that could be an idea i might be working on that later then that possibly is what i'm going to do but anyway let's let's go back to talking about the greenhouse now the greenhouse is as you can see i didn't want to make it so the foundation was too big and then I found out that it was sort of unrealistic that it was kind of high up and everything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I wanted to build like a platform. Now this platform basically 
it, you know, I didn't want it to say, right, okay, it's just there. Because if if everyone stood on the platform, it would probably fall down and everything like that. So as you can see, I've uh, somehow managed to put some, like, uh, support. Well, something that looks like a support um, for the actual structure itself. And then obviously you got the foundation on, as the flooring. And then the... Basically, if I go into... I don't want to pull one one thing off. I want to just pull this one off. If I select it, right, and as you can see, that it's all different pieces and they all click in together. Now, the reason why I chose this flat one is because it's flat, and and as you can see, it you could just change around whatever way you want. Now, the reason why I didn't choose these ones because these are quite fiddly to actually put back in. Now. Some of you were wondering, well, you've got proper plain glass and you've got cracked glass. Now, the reason behind the cracked glass is that our settlers, our little small community, isn't exactly massive. It's it's a mixture of different people. So they are not amazingly b uh, building things, but uh, we use some resources that what we got. And I just filled out some of the details like some barrels, uh, the, uh, what, what that's called again? Uh, the water pipe, as in the hose, sorry. Uh, some ladders, as you can see, a rusty ladder, and like a semi-new, brand new ladder. We've got uh, like some, something for lighting for outside, a bit of atmosphere. We got two sa uh, sav uh, scavenging sta stations, sorry and a shelf because obviously later on when more people come in it will basically be filling up with jobs and stuff like that so we're gonna have a lot of resources available to us once everyone decides to move in once they find us but anyway i'm gonna work on the shack is now going to be coming down and i am going to be building two houses so in tomorrow's episode you'll see both of the houses being built well i wouldn't say built they'd probably already be f near enough fully built but anyway that'll be it for today folks so until next time stay safe have fun and i'll catch you guys later ta for now